what is puberty puberty is the beginning of the transition from the childhood to the adulthood the term puberty is restricted to the physiologic phenomena puberty is a stage of adolescence and this is the point at which reproduction is possible reproductive capabilities are the internal phenomena so puberty it's a physiologic phenomena now the cause of puberty during the childhood hypothalamus is extremely sensitive to the negative feedback exerted by the small quantities of estradiol and testosterone as puberty approaches the sensitivity of hypothalamus is decreased and subsequently it increases the pulsatile secretion of gnrh so that is the reason behind the development of puberty during childhood the hypothalamus is extremely sensitive to the negative feedback exerted by the small quantities of estradiol and testosterone now how it is occurring hypothalamus releases the gnrh gonadotropin releasing hormone and it uh, stimulates the anterior pituitary to release the lh and fsh under the effect of lh testes release the testosterone hormone and under the effect of fsh ovary releases estrogen and progesterone and all these three hormones testosterone estrogen and progesterone gives the negative feedback to the anterior pituitary gland as well as towards the hypothalamus and due to this negative feedback mechanism the gnrh as well lh and fsh are inhibited from the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary gland respectively as the puberty approaches the sensitivity of hypothalamus is decreased and subsequently it increases the pulsatile secretion of the gnrh so there is pulsatile secretion of the gnrh is increased because this negative feedback mechanism or the sensitivity of the hypothalamus to this negative feedback mechanism has been decreased so that there will be subsequently increase in the gnrh level and due to that there is increase in the lh and fsh level and ultimately there is increase in the testosterone estrogen progesterone level in male and female respectively all right so that is the cause of puberty changes in boys stage 1 up to 7 and 1/2 years it is known as pre adolescence stage 2 up to 12 years so that is the development of testes takes place stage 3 14 years pubic and axillary hair and penis enlargement occurs stage 4 15 and 1/2 years further growth of external and internal genitalia and there is a increase of the height spurt occurs in the stage 4 15 and 1/2 years onwards and stage 5 that is begins from the 16 and 1/2 years and this there will be development of adult genitalia development of secondary sex characteristics changes in boys in stage 5 shoulder becomes broad and more muscular hair growth all over the body hair on the face for example the appearance of beard deep and husky voice that is the cracking of sound enlargement of internal and external genitalia pimples due to androgens release on the skin as well as specifically on the face thick skin aggressive active and extrovert and interest in the opposite sex will be developing in boys as the puberty approaches now the changes in girls stage 1 up to 7 and 1/2 years it is the pre adolescence stage 2 up to 10 and 1/2 years there is appearance of breast bud that is known as thalarche stage 3 that is 11 and 1/2 year onwards there is development of pubic hair that is known as pubarche development of axillary hair enlargement of breast and gain in the height or the increase in the height that is 11 and 1/2 year onwards stage 3 stage 4 13 years projection of the areola and menarche menarche that means the starting of the menstrual cycle and the first menstrual period begins in stage 5 14 years and onwards now in the stage 5 14 years and onwards what will be the changes occurring inside the female's body there is development of adult type internal and external genitalia narrow shoulders broad hips lace body hair female type distribution of the hair fat deposits in the breast and hips high pitched voice lace as in then boys also due to the androgen effect sinus developing changes in the mental and emotional behavior and interest in the opposite sex are going to develop 
14 years onwards up to the stage 5 or as the puberty approaches. Now the applied aspect of this first one precocious puberty or it is also known as early puberty. So there is development of premature sexual characteristics and this occurs before 8 years in case of female and 9 years in case of male. Before 8 years and before 9 years. It is more commonly seen or the dominant in girls whom it is usually idiopathic without any specific reason. It is rare in boys in whom an underlying lesion is likely. So this precocious or early puberty is mainly seen in the girls. Delayed puberty. Absence of pubertal development. So 14 years in case of female and 15 years in case of male. That means after 14 years and in case of males after 15 years the puberty start to develop then it is known as delayed puberty. It is dominant or more commonly seen in boys in whom constitutional delay is much the commonest cause of this delayed puberty in case of male. So that is the two applied aspect precocious or early puberty and delayed puberty. Types of puberty disorders in females. Contrasexual pubertal development. In this condition development of male characteristics in females. Premature thalagia. That means breast development without any other signs of puberty. Premature menarche. That means periods or menstrual cycle start without any other signs of puberty. And premature adrenarche. That means appearance of pubic hair without any other signs of puberty. So these are different types of puberty disorders in female. This includes the contrasexual pubertal development, premature thalarche premature menarche and premature adrenarche that is also known as puberche.